In the last few videos I've made, I've been focusing on 3D imagery, probably using Google Earth Studio, but there is also Google Earth forward slash web. In this video, I'm going to try and clear up a few things in my own head and you can look over my shoulder. So first thing between the two is map styles, clean exploration and everything, 3D areas, yellow push pins, and a little bit on KML overlays. And you'll see how this works. Now, just to repeat, I'm dealing with earth.google.com forward slash earth studio, the animation software that's been around for the last eight months or so, and also been around for a very long time, the earth.google.com forward slash web. So taking the first one in turn, and what I'm going to do is just, just move this out the way a little bit. Let's deal with map styles between the two and I will put all of this text in the YouTube description. So if you are making sense or trying to make sense of map styles, if you look at a regular setup here from Earth Studio, you get something like this and you've got the viewport, which is known as where the, where the Earth thing is and your keyframe animation. Now at the moment, if I do, and this is where I want to follow this and why I've written it this way, in Earth Studio, I'm going to do view available cities and map styles. That's probably OK. So view available cities turns on 3D. And then when we start to move in, we can get to a level where we are saying view and I can do clean exploration, which is probably what you saw if you looked at the last few videos on 3D. And then that's pretty much it. If you right click, you can do map style, clean exploration, everything. And that's as far as we get. If I wanted to look as big as I can, then what I can do is I can come on to um, best view for me, viewport F and Chrome F11. That's how you do it on here. So in other words, I can go up to press F full screen or get as big as that. And then I can go up and I can look at it like that. And that's pretty much what I was doing. Now you'll notice straight away that the available cities have disappeared, you have to turn them on and that's where we're looking at 3D. And that's pretty much it. So from here, you'll notice that we've got clean exploration. That's it, how we do it. So how far are we on our little thing? So I've talked about available cities, where to find it in studio, map styles, also right click viewport I've showed you how to get there. We can also, yeah, this time in Google Earth web down here, slightly differently. And what they're actually giving you is something called customized. And that's how we're going to access it next. So what you do here is you go in and then you go on to, let's see if I can get this right straight in. And it's going to be map style. So we're talking menu top left, clean, exploration and everything, which is exactly the same as Studio. Then what happens, and let me just bring that down here, is that you've got Customize. And once you start with Customize, it's really interesting because there are tons of different things. So you can put clouds on and off, and you can just check these on, check these off. You'll notice that with clouds, you have to be zoomed out a little bit. Oh, let's um, see if I can bring that into about there. When I say there, I mean, let's move it out. So clouds are off. No difference. Sometimes they're on, sometimes they're off, depending on your level. Borders and labels, countries. So if I went in to say countries like that, you'll see it's instant. If I click countries, the lines and the labels have disappeared. You get the idea. But my point here is to tell you, to tell myself, there are a lot of different things that you can put in. Tons of places, individual push pins, individual roads and landmarks and transit areas. That's it with this. Now to get into, let's uh, see if I can actually get out of this and go into the next part that I'm just trying to show you and show myself here. And that is with left menu 3D because you can only see 3D in Google web, Earth web at certain times, which is, I don't know, not so great and useful for me, but it might be to you. So in other words, you go into Voyager and you go down and you must click this 3D imagery button or and it pops up like that. Then after that, you can close the one on the right hand side and you can start spinning the globe 
nicely. But what actually happens is, let's bring up my little chitty again, you can see the difference between the two now. You've got Google Earth Studio and Google Earth Web. Which tool are you going to use um, if you're a student of Earth or geography or whatever by looking at it? And that is that we can only see 3D push pins or KML. We can't see 3D and KML together. In Google Earth Studio, you can see them together, which is really useful if you're trying to plan something. In here, you cannot. So if you notice that there are a ton of push pins, then if we go up to my places, which is the little bookmark thing, if I turn this on. Needless to say, at this point, my screen demo stopped working as I wanted it to. So this is the end of the video. Same story applies in Google Earth Studio. You can have 3D push pins and KML overlays in Earth Web. You can have 3D push pins or KML overlays, but not both at the same time. Thanks for watching.